Hype dreams, Hype baby. Dreams, baby. <laughs> Ryan V with Hype Dreams, and I'm here with none other than Private Selection. What's going on, y'all? Welcome going to on? Fort Lauderdale, guys. Appreciate it, man. Happy to be here. Yes, sir. What do you guys think of the turnout today? I think it was great. Yeah, like, I mean, this place is packed out. So I heard last time it wasn't as full. This time, it feels like it's, it's packed. It's pandemonium. Yes. Now, you guys are mostly known for what you do in the store. Right. I've been seeing you guys doing what I do. Okay. You're making me scared for my job over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What do you guys got cooking up with eBay? I mean, we, uh, Larry, you want to go ahead? Yeah, so, I mean, ultimately, the reality is we can only do so much buying because we blew through our cash, and uh, we can't, no one can send payments in here because there's no there's service. No service. <laughs> so we're kind of tapped out on that. But oddly enough, you know, we're here because SneakerCon brought us here. You know what I mean? This wasn't like a let's go to sneaker con. This yeah. was like a on the phone with sneaker con, you know, brought us out here. So as part of it, they wanted us to create content, chop it up with people, hang out and just kind of do what we do as a not our normal. You know, we show up, spend 100K and leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? So here we're trying to do something different. We've done a couple giveaways. We're just asking questions, just chopping it up with people. And in my I feel like this experience is a lot different for us because in all honesty, you know, we normally walk around this room and we typically go pretty undetected. Some people know who we are and some people have no idea. This time, people know. So, <laughs> it, you know, this has just been a completely different experience for us all the way around from what we normally do, from meeting, interacting with people, people asking us to interview yeah. us. You know what I mean? This is a whole different ball game for us. And so we're just excited to be here and just do what we love to do. Man. Hey, hey, I got something I want to say too. This is the first time that we haven't just been focused around buying. So it's this experience is way more fun. It's usually all business and I'm just like crunching numbers. Doing math. Yeah, doing yeah. math. Figuring out how to get stuff boxed out, get hundreds of pairs out of here, right? This time it was more like, go have fun. You know what I mean? And like, it's, we're having a blast right now. Yeah. New, new career path? New career path, just having fun. I, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now. We gotta check out the heat. Of I course, want you guys to just course. walk me through a little bit about what we got going Let's on. Let's go, come on, move. come on. All right, so what we decided to do um, was, we're known as the Early Bird Boys. Why? Because we get unreleased shoes before Nike releases them, Every Adidas time. releases them, right? So this time what we decided to do was, hey, all these shoes that everybody sees on IG, Let's bring them, let everybody look at them, pick them up, touch them. Like, not, not, you don't want to be the booth that you walk up to and they're like, no, you can't touch that. We want to bring these out so everybody can check them out, feel them, look what they look like before they release. So, with that being said, what we brought out was number one right here. This is the Travis Scott Cactus Jack trainer. This is one of two that we know about right now. Um, and the other one only surfaced about two weeks ago. It was gifted to tra from Travis Scott to Offset from the Migos. And that's why that. we saw that for the first time. Over here, we have the unreleased set. It was supposed to release in December, but it got pushed back. This is the Travis Scott Air Max, right? So you have both colorways, Saturn and then the uh, Baroque Brown, okay? Which, if you had to pick one, what's your choice? I'm going with these. Okay. I'm oh, going with these. Okay. I like that I'm too. Going, I'm going with the Houston pickup. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now I'm gonna say probably one of the most talked about pairs on this table. We're gonna keep it with Travis. Is the reverse mocha. So this is actually not even a, a, a retail pair. This is a sample pair. It's a sample pair. Sample tag. The internet wasn't even sure if these were real. Right. They weren't even sure if these were real. They only saw them on Stormy's foot. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is. Um, Probably someone offered me a Dior low, low, and I I said no, I gotta keep it because it's a sample. It's, it's a not sample. Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, it's no, not this, Photoshop. This, this is real. Um, so this for sure I think is one of the one of the most talked about looked at pairs. That's special. Hitters. Yep. Um, same patch. There's no official name on this, right? Right. It's supposed to release in March. We call it. We've been calling it the St. Patrick's Day. You know what yeah, I mean? It seems to yeah, make sense. Yeah. It seems to make sense with the clover, all the that on it, right? Um, this is Clot. So the, it's a, the Hong Kong store, Clot. They did uh, a Jordan. We had to figure out what this two, this, these two lines and the three lines meant. 
We were like, what does it mean? We don't know. 23, Jordan, in Chinese, right? So lots of dope details on this. Um, now we're gonna move over here. If you've seen all three pairs of these together on the internet, there are photos. Nice kicks. I was say, only on private selection. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about nice kicks. I'm talking couple clock. Everybody has reposted these. This set right here, the Union Ducks. So, really dope. Um, over here, this is the full set of Supreme Dunk Highs, unreleased as well. So you got all three colorways. And last but not yeah, least. Yeah. Last but not least, R.I.P. to Virgil. R.I.P. to Virgil. The last two that were set to drop before his untimely passing. Right. So just in his honor, we're going to move around with these things, make sure people get to see him. And they're not for sale, but uh, we want—we uh, just want everybody to see his work. So, yep. I have to ask, Yep. favorite pair on the table? Listen, this one's going to throw you off for me, but I'm actually a big fan of Edison Chen. Okay. He was the owner of Clot. Yep. And I'm also... There was another five low that came out recently like this that I passed on. It was a while ago. Oh, it was the, oh, I can't even think of the name. I know what you're talking about. The one, the tore away. It was a, yeah. It was a tear away? Was it just, it wasn't Chinese New Year. It, I think it was Chinese New Year. it was. New Year. I think okay, it was Chinese yes. New Year five. Um, and so I passed on those, but when I saw that, I knew that was the one that I needed. That's right. the one? So, oddly enough, I, I typically don't like to get too crazy in this stuff. Yeah. Because oddly enough, like even this shoe, I've seen someone wearing it today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you would think that I would go for the most hype stuff, but I don't. I typically will go for stuff that I know that I'm not going to see a hundred other people wear, and that's why I think that's fine. I'm a hype beast. I'm a hype beast. I'm with I'm you. I'm a hype beast. I'm rocking with you. This is my third pair of shoes I switched out to today, I'm, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with you. Now, we got before we go, yeah. we got to talk about the hoodies because even okay. if you're not from L.A., yeah. these are pretty crazy. They are. They are. Larry, I, I want Larry to talk about these hoodies. Yeah, so collaboration that we did with a brand called Ribbon Repair, um, a brand based out of L.A. They typically have a lot of Korean influence, um, but they're a really, really solid brand. So last year... We came up with this idea to do this Cactus by the Sea capsule, kind of a collaboration of L.A. and, and Texas. Um, the reason that it's like that is even the name of our store, Please Come Home, or PCH, if you're familiar with Los Angeles. And so we had already kind of taken a piece of L.A. I, I lived there for several years. Took a piece of L.A., brought it back to Texas, and that's why we have the L.A.-based store. Of, you know, you come to our store in Dallas, but you feel like you're shopping on Fairfax or Melrose okay. or somewhere in Please come home to L.A. So I like, piece, that's I like, where the PCH yeah, I like L.A. Okay. So that's where you get these colors from. We did the collab with a brand called Rip and Repair. Super uh, thick quality hoodies. Yeah. I know you can feel you yeah, see the this is, print. This so is. quality, everything on these pieces is super dope. And our merch is just... It's getting there, man. We've, we've been I, I, doing I'm merch. I'm saying all of this was full when we got here. Yeah, and there's about, what, 10 yeah. pieces left, so. And so it's just one of those things where as we've grown, uh, our demand for merch has too, man. And so this year, 2022, we got some heat. Yeah, we're about to go crazy. We're about like, to go this crazy. is light work, and this is like last minute, a week ago, like, hey, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll bring what we can, but moving forward, y'all see throughout this year, man, we got some really dope stuff coming yeah. up. And that leads me to my last and final question. First and foremost, big fans of you guys, all, that. all three of you guys. I know it's only two of you today, right. but I have to ask, what's the future hold for private selection in 2022? You know, that's an interesting question, but I think it kind of leads back to what you're seeing today and what we spoke about a minute ago. Uh, obviously, I am a store owner. Right. right. So people think that I'm a YouTuber. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I am a store owner who has first. a cameraman. Yeah, we're store owners first. Store so owners know. first. So at the end of the day, and you know, people always say, you know, drop more content. And it's like, y'all don't understand. Like, we run a really busy store. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard for us to even get away and, and take these trips and do the things that we do. For sure. However, we see where things are leaning. And obviously, uh, the demand for us to be in places like this is going to cause us to travel a lot more. So you will see our face at, I want to say every sneaker con, yeah. COVID allowing, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so you'll sure. see us at every sneaker con this year. Last year, we only did Dallas. This year, you'll, you know, you'll see us everywhere. Um, 
And that's really about it, man. The, the store is going to stay the same. I know people want to hear an answer, like, open another store. Yeah. We want to know about everybody, the store. Everybody, everybody, want everybody wants us store. to open another store. What I'm going to tell you is that even though I've been open for three years, my store is still growing, right? So we're still getting better and better and better. So there's no need to run and jump and open another store when I've still got... Because what, we, what we've noticed is there's a lot of stores that open one store and then they're like all right we're going to open another one another one another one another one another one and what i've noticed from that is they take all of that stock that they have and it gets watered down you know what i mean like they break down they have 200 pairs and then now they split 200 pairs into 30 pairs 30 pairs 30 pairs 30 pairs, 30 pairs right and now at store number five you've got three employees who don't give a damn about right your stock or yeah. your customers so, or anything like that so we 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 definitely pride ourselves on if somebody comes to our store and we we figure this out from travel we did all of our travel vlogs we would go to the flight clubs go to these stores you go into the store and you look for your size you're like oh i love this shoe let me get my size and they're like we have one size of it and you're like oh it's a bummer so we don't want anybody to feel like that so we pride ourselves on having full size runs of as many shoes as we can so if you come in you try to get a shoe you're like i love that shoe can i get it you have my size we probably we got probably your have size. it you know what i mean so i think that's kind of what's making us excel um, is that we're able to get the people what they want versus just having something you can go in and look at and be like, you know, my size, it doesn't matter. Well, there you have it. Yep. Private selection is going to be giving the people what they want all 2022 here at SneakerCon. Yep. I'll catch you at the store. Yeah, you ever in Dallas? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're oh. in Dallas. Come take care of you, man. Absolutely. Right. SneakerCon, Fort Lauderdale. It's hype dreams, private selection. We out. What?